She's been driving regularly for more than half a century. But at age 73, she needs a refresher at a specially designed course for senior citizens in Japan. If I can stay healthy, I would like to continue driving until I become 85, just to run short errands at least. Japan's older drivers are getting into more and more fatal accidents. Statistics show the over 65s were responsible for nearly a thousand deadly crashes last year. That's more than a quarter of the annual total. But giving up the steering wheel is not always an option. For Takahashi, she has to drive her husband to hospital daily. Despite Japan's good public transport, experts say there are still problem areas for older people. Even if you live in Tokyo, you would still feel inconvenient without a car in the suburbs. And in regional areas, you wouldn't be able to make a living without a car. What is important is to educate aging drivers literally behind the steering wheel, so that they can see and become aware of their own shortcomings. The authorities are trying to tackle the problem by introducing more testing for the over 75s. But some feel the rules should be stricter. Driving requires physical abilities, so no matter how clearly you think in your head, your body has to respond first. If you cannot pass strict testings at a training school like this, then you have to accept it. That way, people would accept reality, I think. It's estimated by 2050, nearly 40% of the Japanese population will be over 65. A silver tsunami for Japan, and one that might mean the end of the road for some.